The CDC is issuing a new warning about a nationwide spike in MPOX cases. New data shows the number of reported infections is almost double what they were at this time last year. MPOX, what used to be called monkeypox, that's a disease uh, that is rarely fatal. Its symptoms are similar to smallpox, but milder. ABC News medical correspondent Dr. Darian Sutton joins us now. So Dr. Sutton, good to see you again. I guess you were on this call with the CDC today. What'd they say? What, what's their warning and why are they doing it now? That's right, Terry. So I was just on a phone call actually earlier this afternoon with Dr. Jenny McQuiston. She is the deputy director of CDC's divisions of high consequence pathogens. And I, what the main point that they wanted us to understand is that the rate is significantly higher than last year. But thankfully, when you look at the overall numbers, they're still relatively net low. If you look at these recent numbers from this month of 2024, about 511 cases have been identified. This time yet last year, it was about 287 cases. But just to take a back, a, a, a take a thousand foot perspective and look at this uh, since that time of initial diagnosis when we first started having this conversation in May of 2022 there have been over 32,000 cases so obviously we're not dealing with as high of a number as that as that was but we're still having to figure out how to battle these increasing numbers that we're seeing in urban places like Chicago and so what are them what is the main concern with this disease from your perspective as a doctor well, what are you worried about uh, if people get it well, my main concern is uncontrolled spread. Uh, many people know MPOX as its characteristic rash, but it can cause fatal, if not uh, near um, complications that might lead to chronic conditions that you want to avoid. And one of the best ways to avoid that is with a full vaccination. When we talked about this earlier, many people may have forgotten, but the vaccination requires two doses, approximately 28 days apart. The majority of the patients who are being infected now, Terry, are those who are unvaccinated or undervaccinated. So it's an important reminder that if you are at risk and you haven't completed your vaccination to get that second dose. So should everyone get it or just those who are at risk and how do you categorize those? Well, it mainly focuses to those who are at risk. So those who have multiple intimate partners, those who might have been exposed to MPOX, those living with HIV, those are all people who are higher risk for getting MPOX, so you want to get vaccinated. And just in general, thankfully, we, we don't have the issue that we had before in terms of the lack of supply. Supplies are fully stocked, and even in April, it might be commercially available so that you can get it at your primary care office. Great. So get vaccinated if you are in that group, and, uh, and be careful out there. Dr. Absolutely. Darian Sutton, great to see you. Thank you very much. Always rely on you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Sir. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.